the sum and the difference of the two equations are 5x squared minus x minus 4 and x squared plus 9x minus 10 respectively. The HCF of the two expressions will be dash. So here in this question you have to first find out which are the expressions that they are referring to and then you have to find out the HCF of the two expressions. See what are they, the, what have they given? They have given the sum and the difference of two expressions. So if I say one expression is P of X and another expression is Q of X, see what have they given? They have given that P of X plus Q of X is equal to 5 X squared minus X minus 4. Similarly, they are saying P of X minus q of x right this is this is equal to x squared plus 9x minus 10. So first I have to find out what is p of x what is q of x and then I have to find out their hcf right. So here what is p of x see if I add these two equations right these two expressions what will I have I can have 2 into p of x that is equal to uh, see basically I am adding these two expressions right the sum and the difference. So when I do that this q of x will get cancelled and I will have 2 p of x which is equal to 6 x squared plus 8 x minus 14 or I can say p of x is equal to 3 x squared plus 4 x minus 7 right. So this is going to be your p of x. So if this is p of x then what is going to be q of x? q of x will be nothing but 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 right. How do I say what is q of x? See I know p of x plus q of x is so much and I have already found out that p of x is 3x squared plus 4x plus 7. So what will be q of x? So what should I add to 3x squared to make it 5x squared? I have to add 2x squared. Similarly what should I add to 4x to make it answer as minus x? I have to add minus 5x. Similarly what should I add to uh, minus 7 so that I get the answer as minus 4? I have to add plus 3. So this is the value of q of x. Now that you have these two you have to find out the HCF of these two expressions. Now what is the factor how will you write this p of x in terms of its factors? See you have to find out two numbers okay such that now I have an expression 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. So basically I have to find out uh, two numbers such that their product is 21 and their sum is 4. Correct. So uh, what are the two numbers whose product is 21 and the sum has to end up with 4? It will be 7 and 3. Right. Now again 7 and 3 here the uh, coefficient of x squared is 3. So 7 by 3 by 3. Now uh, what will be the so what will be the roots when you write the roots using the sign table I mean the factors using the sign table you will have the factors as 3x plus 7 into x minus 1. Similarly when you write this in terms of factors what will you get? You will get 2x minus 3 into x minus 1. Now here both are both the factors are common factor here in both the cases is x minus 1. So obviously your HCF of both the uh, given terms right P of x and Q of x is nothing but x minus 1 right. Now uh, the other way in which you can uh, solve it is to check with the options. See this is one way in which you can solve it. The other way is to cross check with the options as to which of the option satisfies the given condition. So see some of your friends are also saying that if you go by options you will get the answer quickly right. So how do you do that? You, uh, see you have to put x minus 1. See basically this x minus 1 has to be a factor of both of these expressions right. Check with that. So how will you check with the options? So if x minus 1 has to be a factor of this expression what should you do? Put x is equal to 1 right. Put x is equal to 1 in this expression and see if you get the answer as 0. Similarly put x is equal to 1 in this expression and see if the answer is 0. So similarly if you have to check if this is your answer put x is equal to minus 1 in both the expressions and see if the answer is 0 right. At uh, or this one again if you are if you are checking for this one you have 3x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 7 by 3. So like that you have to check with each options whichever you find it easier to solve do it that way. Okay, So here the common factor in both the cases is x minus 1 correct answer is option 2. Is it clear?
are both the methods clear to you this is one way in which you can solve it so what did we do here we found out which are both the expressions and we wrote these expression in terms of their factors and we found out the hcf the other way to solve it is to check with the options yes so uh, basically when you are uh, looking at the hcf if you have two numbers their sum and difference is also generally a uh, the hcf is also the factor of the sum and the difference so using that also you can check using the options you can put in the options here and see if it is satisfying in both the expressions don't stop with one expression you have to check for both the expressions then only it will be the highest common factor i'm sure this method i have solved is clear what i'm trying to say, what we are trying to say here is that if you have two num two expressions right p of x and q of x now this p of x and q of x has a hcf right so basically what is hcf hcf is the high and highest common factor of these two expressions now if you take the sum of these two right p of x into q of x or if you take the difference of these two p of x minus q of x the hcf of p of x and q of x right that will be a factor for these two expressions also now uh, how do i uh, explain it to you let us take two numbers 25 and 35 now what is the hcf of these two numbers the hcf of these two numbers is nothing but 5 right that is clear to you now if i do 25 plus 35 or if i do 20 uh, 35 minus 25 for both these numbers also this 5 will be a factor that's what i am saying okay now here since it is number it is very easy for you to understand here when you do 25 plus um, 35 you will have 60 yes 60 by 5 yes 60 uh, 5 is a factor of 60 here you have 10 10 by 5 again 5 is a factor of 10 right this you know this when it comes to numbers it is very easy for you to follow now when it is an expression like this also this holds true that's what i'm saying so if you have two uh, expressions p of x and q of x the hcf of these two expressions will also be a factor of this sum and this difference right so here uh, whatever be the hcf see either x plus 1 can be the hcf or x minus 1 can be the hcf whichever is the hcf this hcf has to be a factor of this number and also a factor of this number so how do you check whether a given uh, let us say how do i say okay if i have x minus 1 now how do i say that x minus 1 is a factor of 5x squared minus x minus 4 what do i do i just have to put x is equal to 1 in this given expression and the answer that i get should be equal to 0 if it is if you are getting that then that means that this is a factor so here if i put if i'm checking for x minus 1 what do i do i put x is equal to 1 so if i put x is equal to 1 what does this expression become it will become 5 minus 1 minus 4 which is equal to 4 minus 4 that is equal to 0 so now i can say that x minus 1 is a factor of this expression similarly i have to check for this expression also x squared plus 9x minus 10 right put x is equal to 1 what will you get you will get 1 plus 9 minus 10 which is again equal to 0 so this x minus 1 is a factor of both these expressions so if you check like that with all the options you can see that only x minus 1 is satisfying that so obviously that has to be your answer